I'm not going to make my straps. This uh, short little strap is going to be for holding my D-rings in place. Um, I found with making these uh, two, these um, bags that um, if you attach it with a short piece of fabric and then a D-ring and then attach your long uh, strap, I just feel like it's more secure. So I've taken a four inch piece of fabric and I folded it into four uh, sections so that it ends up being an inch wide and I put a little uh, one inch wide piece of batting in here and now I'm going to sew it down um, on two sides to finish it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with a, a big long strap piece that's made out of the other boutique but I'm not going to show you that because it's the same technique. And it just takes a little while. So there it is on one side and then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to sew it on the other side. And then I'm going to cut this in half um, because I'm going to make my little loop for my D-ring to go on. Um, put the D-ring on and put this on and then attach this to the lining uh, before I attach it to the body of the um, iPad holder. I have my D-rings in position now. So I uh, put the D-rings on to uh, the the piece of fabric threaded it through and then I sewed just an angle stitch here to kind of give me um, a idea of the angle that I need to make it and I'm going to lay it on the seam line over here and I'm going to kind of try to get them even top and bottom and I'm using my zipper as kind of my gauge the d-ring kind of lays almost completely to the, this edge of the zipper on both sides and I'm going to turn it really carefully, and I just moved it, so then i got to reposition it here and get it back in place. I'm going to try to sew everything within a fourth inch seam. So we just say scant fourth inch, so that when we sew our binding on, it's going to cover all of this edge stitching and um, secure stitching that we're going to do. So I've got that one on on this side. And now I'm going to really carefully turn this around and do this one on this side. And uh, what's sticking out over here, I will trim off. I don't, I don't uh, need that. <clears throat> now I'm ready to sew my uh, front piece um, onto my soft and stable. I've ironed both of these pieces and I've lined them up. I've cut the... Uh, outside piece to meet to be the same size as the soft and stable and the soft and stable has a nappy surface to it so once you lay your fabric down it really sticks pretty well but I did pin it just to make sure that it stays flat like I said you don't have to quilt this so you're um, going to be fine when it comes to um, having it not shift um, I'm going to do a scant quarter inch um, to base this two, uh, these two pieces together that base the soft and stable together. I'm going to stop right in here because I want to show you one thing. With this piece of fabric, it doesn't really make any difference the direction uh, because the, the print is non-directional. But with this one that I did with the elephants, the elephants only went one, one way. So in order to keep the elephants going up and down and not standing on their head on all three pieces, what I had to do is where I had my fold line, I actually had to make a seam and, and cut it and turn this around. So there's a seam there and a seam now, here. Uh, on the original one that uh, Snippet made, she uh, did some decorative applique on this end and uh, she did that before she attached it. Um, and uh, you can also attach your other Velcro piece on before you attach it to this. Um, I like to do it now because it just kind of uh, it's more secure because it's going through both the uh, inner lining and the outside um, of the fabric. And so I'm going to attach my Velcro. And I happen to have a piece of blue that kind of matched better than that red. So. <clears throat> I'm using that for this side. 
won't show quite as much. So here we go with my Velcro. And this is really all you have to do to uh, prepare the outside of your um, iPad holder. You don't really need any other um, preparations. I'm ready now for my um, lining to be attached to the outside. Okay, now I have my uh, lining and my uh, backing or my outside attached together, uh, sandwiched with the um, soft and stable. And I'm going to sew these two things together. Now when I'm sewing this, uh, I want to make sure that these are facing towards the inside. Um, and then on this end, I have um, a little bit extra length of my lining because I'm going to just use that as a kind of a self binding after I'm all finished uh, sewing around the edges of it. I'll just sew across this and this end will be finished off then. Um, this end down here is going to come up. Uh, it's going to go together like this. And this is going to come down like this. And that's going to form my pouch. And then my two little uh, things that I sewed in here are going to stick out on the side to uh, get my strap so that um, we have a, a finished bag. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew uh, the front to the back. And I'm going to make sure that these are in when I'm sewing them. So you need to be careful of that. I'm not going to sew across this end here because I'm going to sew my uh, kind of faux binding down um, in a few minutes. So I don't really need to attach that um, and have another stitch in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around. 